hello guys welcome to curly fitness 1980 and welcome to another video so today video based on the title you already know what we're going to be talking about so today video is a very important video because i was asked this question like a week ago and i was thinking about it i was like you know what let me go ahead and make a video about it because i'm pretty sure if somebody asks me about this question and then a lot of people might want to know and also for those of you going through this kind of like journey i really want to talk to you guys about a few things also so with that being said if you haven't subscribed to this channel if this is your first time thank you so much for turned in and don't forget to subscribe join the family because my channel is all about health and fitness motivation trying to like to find a way to talk to all my ladies or gentlemen out there that's going to weight loss journey or whatever your challenges in life i think we all can relate to some kind of like you know way to keep us motivated and so on and so forth so with that being said go ahead please and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this kind of video so that way i can keep bringing this kind of like video for you guys and also i will be starting doing my workout video and my um dieting um meal prep and all so on and so forth so definitely guys please subscribe and join the family okay so let's go ahead and talk about plastic surgery versus dieting and exercise do they go together or is it one thing or the other so um if you know if you have been watching my video i take you guys to this whole long journey only because i wanted to show you guys that it's okay to have a plastic surgery nothing's wrong with it as a matter of fact sometimes when everything else fails and what i mean by that after you've done all your homework dieting exercise losing the weight and everything you left with loose skin and this is where the doctor comes in because you can't work out loose skin it's just not gonna happen so but also at the same time too you have to be able to take care of yourself if you're gonna have a plastic surgery only because only to turn around you don't take care of yourself it's not gonna work out guys because there's no magic pills or there's no doctor in this planet that's gonna do a plastic surgery make you look like a 10 and then to think that you're gonna stay that way without doing a damn thing it just doesn't work like that i wish so i want to show you guys a picture before i got pregnant with the twins so i um i am a fitness competitor um so i want to show you guys how i look like um before the twins so that way it makes so that way you guys can kind of see what i have to go through so this picture here is when i was competing and this was taking two months before i got pregnant i got pregnant in august and this um picture here was in may right yeah may yeah may so and then I'm gonna show you guys this picture right here is me um the day of giving birth to the twins so now i'm only 25 feet tall so you can see how my body was destroyed i had to um and i also carried the twin to 38 weeks and two days so you can imagine now after giving birth to the twins, I was on a mission to get my body back. And I'm still on a mission to get my body back. I'm not there yet, 100%. So, after giving birth to the twins, I went in my health and dieting and exercise. I um doing cleanse, everything that I know to detox my body, to clean out my body. But, as I was working out, as I'm getting leaner, I noticed that I was in pain and then the pain was my muscle was separated and I had hernia and I had a little bit of loose skin after I lose the baby weight. Long story short, I ended up to have surgery. This is why most of you guys probably subscribe to my channel because of my tummy tucks videos. Okay. So now up to now, I'll be damned to go back under the knife again because I don't take care of myself. Some of you think like surgery and exercise, dieting and exercise, they both go together. There's no one in between. As a matter of fact, if I had my way, I would take dieting and exercise without having the surgery. But unfortunately, loose skin and everything else, you can't take in care of that. You cannot fix loose skin in your own uh, muscle separation and an hernia. These are the things that your body, you you can't work out and to fix this problem so of course you're gonna need to do some kind of plastic surgery to fix the problem and this is what i had to do but 
at the same time plastic um plastic surgery doesn't give you a nice muscle definition your it doesn't give you a nice legs it doesn't give you a six pack or so on and so forth even though there are some people they are so lazy and they don't want to put in the work they actually going to have doctor put in some kind of like abs implant calves implant even if you have that it's not gonna look proportion because when you look at if you look at the person and they have a a, a a six pack but yet they have fat all over the body it just doesn't work that way because when you start building abdomen and your abs it's because that you shrinking and your body is getting a little bit less than less a little bit of a not so much body fat so now you can create that um that abdomen um that abs in your in your abdominal area if that makes sense um so as you can see in that picture that i show you guys i'm gonna post it again you can see i had abs and this was one of the best thing in my body i love abs and now it's a setback for me because after they fixed my muscle fix the area and everything you can still see i have definition but they're not there and when i asked the doctor Am I ever going to have my ass back? He said, you just have to work out again and start all over again. So it's just to show you there's no shortcut into anything in life. So for those of you guys out there who's planning on having a plastic surgery, who's planning on um, having a, a liposuction, especially for lipo, let me tell you something. Lipo, if you're having a lipo because it's a fat removal. Well, think about it. If you're going to have fat removed, and then you're not going to eat clean, you're not going to exercise, then what's going to happen? You're going to bring the fat back. And as a matter of fact, based on your genetic and how your body heals or so on and so forth, when that fat comes back, it comes back 10 times more and it goes different places that you may not want it to go based on your genetic. So please, if you are thinking on having any kind of surgery and then thinking that this is going to be the end result, I'm going to tell you as much as I love you guys, I'm sorry. You're going to probably be upset because your result is not going to be as good as it should be because you're going to be go, you're going to go back and complain to the doctor and said, Oh, I'm having love hand on this side, on that side. Of course, because where the doctor tight you up and everything, the stomach, you, it's going to be a little bit hard for that fat to go back. But what's going to happen, the fat is going to find somewhere else to go. Your back your your butt your face wherever it is because you're not taking care of yourself so do i encourage you guys if you if you want to have a plastic surgery you, this is your dream you you work hard you lose the weight you have fat absolutely go for it i am here i'm here to support you if you have any question please reach out to me that's what i'm here for so Dieting and exercise is the key for a healthy lifestyle. And not to mention, for me, it's always important for me to be healthy in the inside because you can look good in the outside all you want and then it's a matter of time before you collapse. It's a matter of time before things happen in the inside. So the idea for me not to want to take care of my body in the inside, it's not going to happen because I have to take care of my body in the inside first. The inside is the most important things for me. So now the outside, once the inside is really good, the inside is healthy, then everything else is going to show in the outside. And also, plastic surgery doesn't stop you from getting sick. Plastic surgery doesn't stop you from catching certain illness. Plastic surgery doesn't stop you um, from living a healthy, long life. So the only thing that does that is to uh, dieting and exercise and taking care of yourself. So, um, I wanted to really do this video. I don't want this to go to like more than 15 minutes. So I really wanted to talk to you guys about this topic because it's very important. So if you're on a journey to do a tummy talk, liposuction, um, butt transfer, I mean, <laughs> whatever you want to do by the end of the day, you got to take care of yourself. By the end of the day, you can't go back to eat the same way you were eating before you had the surgery. Or better yet, you can't think that, oh, I'm going to have this body and I'm going to be drinking, doing all this stuff. Uh, well, you're going to have it for a short term, but you're never going to have it for a long term because you're going to put in all the weight and it's not going to look nice and you're not going to like it and you're going to go under the knife again. And every time you go under the knife, it's a risk. And if you follow my journey, you're going to realize that you're going to know that I had to have 
two surgeries so far because my breast was capsulated due to the implant my body just pretty much rejecting it and i'm still dealing with that right now so you don't want to go under the knife because every time you go under the knife it's a risk so take care of yourself plastic surgery and dieting exercise they both go together so i encourage you ladies out there if you want to look good feel good about yourself absolutely go for it i have to do that myself because i be them to be walking around with loose skin i be them to be walking out with muscle separation no if 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 there's help out there then that's what i did i went and got it fixed however before that i was always into dieting and exercise and that's why i think that my result is gonna be even more amazing in the long run because I didn't do it because I lose weight. I do it because I ended up doing it because of the pregnancy. And that goes for a lot of you guys. Pregnancy is going to change your body. Um, dieting, um, you know, going to a weight loss journey is going to change the way your body looks. So then of course you want to look good. You're going to have to go to that surgery. But when everything's said and done, you want to take care of yourself. So I wanted to do this video for you guys. So um, that's it. Please guys, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love you guys very much. So on that note, please be you, be fit, be blessed. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.